my dear friends, my name is Antonia Romarker and welcome to Sierra's English. So today we study English, but do not forget that in this channel we also study Russian. Or you can just study one language. Anyway, today we are going to continue studying complex object. We have already started talking about it and I have an introductory class about it, so you can take a look. So if you haven't uh, studied complex object yet and if you do not know some general information then it's well I highly recommend to take a look at my first part of this video so complex object introduction today we continue very quickly I'm going to remind you the structure complex object is used like this first you use a verb in any tense in any form then you use an object like you him, or her, my friends, this book, and so on. And after it, use an infinitive. So that's the structure of complex object. Well, I should say that some verbs can never be used in complex object. For example, consider or suggest and some others. Basically, these are the verbs after which you are supposed to use a gerund instead of an infinitive. We have already talked about these verbs and you can also take a look at this video and it will get clear to you. So the verbs after which we use a gerund cannot be used in the structure complex object because in complex object we have an infinitive. So for example, as I have already said, suggest and consider after them, with them, we cannot use complex object. For example, if we use the verb suggest, we cannot say my friends suggested me to start a new channel. We cannot say it like this. It's prohibited. It's, well, impossible. Your job here is to use a clause instead of an infinitive with an object. So you say my friends suggested that. I should start a new channel. So, suggest and consider never use them in complex object. There are some other verbs, I'll give you the list of some of them, but basically just remember female verbs or the verbs after which you use a gerund can never be used in complex object. Now let's continue. Here, uh, let's take a closer look at some particular verbs and they are advise, recommend and allow. There are just three of them. Once again, advise, recommend and allow. After them, to tell the truth, we can use both constructions. So they are cool. They can be used, well, in all different ways. Let's take a look at an example. So we can say do they allow smoking in public places in your country? Do they allow smoking in public places in your country? So, allow doing something. I would say allow doing with a gerund. Or we can say they don't allow people to smoke in public places in Russia. They don't allow people to smoke. So here we use complex object. Once again, advise, recommend and uh, allow can be used in two constructions. We can use the verb plus uh, the gerund, but in this case notice that we do not use an object. So, do they allow smoking? We do not say who or whom, we just say smoking. But also, you can use complex object. You can say the verb, allow, for example, then the object and then an infinitive. Here, be careful with the passive forms. For example, you can say smoking isn't allowed. So here, smoking isn't allowed. We use a gerund, yes, smoking, like this in the passive construction. Or you can say people aren't allowed to smoke. So here we transformed complex object and we have people aren't allowed to smoke. So passive can be used in both constructions with the gerund or with complex object 
with these verbs allow, recommend, advise. Let's continue. We can also talk about two additional verbs here, make and let. They are very specific. Actually, we can also uh, introduce the verb help here, but with an asterisk. I will tell about help a little bit later. Now let's focus on make and let with these verbs in the complex object construction we do not use a particle to so we simply say make somebody do something or let somebody do something like let me help you we do not say let me to help you or we do not say make her to stop we simply say make her stop so make and let in complex object no particle to. Remember that. For example, let me help you with your bags. Or uh, some women make their husbands go shopping with them, which kills the latter. So once again, some women make their husbands go shopping with them, which kills the latter. <laughs> Don't do that, girls. Anyway, it's like torture. We can use that as an instrument of torture. Joking. Anyway, now the verb help. After it, we can use object plus an infinity with the to or without. For example, we can say help me uh, translate this text or help me to translate this text. So both variants are possible. However, the verb make in a passive construction when it is followed by an infinitive is used with a particle too. So this is an exception. Be careful. Passive make you use the particle too. For example, uh, he was made to wait for three hours. He was made to wait. We do not say he was made wait. So passive make we use the particle to. But if we change the sentence into a, an active form, we can say she made him to wait for three hours. In this case, it would be wrong. So we should say she made him wait, not she made him to wait. Be careful. So in passive with make, we use the particle to, but not in active. So that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you about today. So we continued studying complex object and we studied some peculiar cases. And now I hope that you have a very clear view in your head of how and when we can use this construction. So if you have any questions, feel free to write to me in the comments and I will answer and maybe make some new videos if you need me to. So I will help you, no problem. I will appreciate reading your comments and I always smile when I see them. Anyway, that's it. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, please press the button, like it, share it in different social networks everywhere. Help me to develop my project. Uh, and uh, well, I hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye!